online brought to you by fullboardpoker.com and the Poker University. Let's talk about some poker. Uh, first, a little background on me. Last time I was in AC, I uh, won a tournament, No Limit Hold'em. It was at the second largest poker room in AC. Uh, we chopped it three ways. $65 buy-in. We each walked away with $561. So, a little background, just so you know. It's poker magazines like this. Don't worry about it. I'm going to show you, give you some tips, how to play, so you won't need that magazine. I'm just going to be talking uh, poker in general, uh, playing online, let's say you're playing in a sit-and-go tournament, single table, uh, so, you know, what I do is when the tournament starts, I, uh, when it gets up to 50, up to $50 bet, I play any two cards, two seven, anything. And uh, you know, when you're when you're playing uh, on a in a tournament, you know you got ace nine, off suit. You know what do you usually do with that? Raise with it, call, fold it. Well, tip for me. You call. If they raise, go ahead with it. If they raise a little bit, if they raise a lot. You want to fold that hand. Uh, my cutoff for the hands, uh, ace ten. I don't raise with that hand, but if somebody raises, as long as they don't raise too much, I'll call it. But I don't raise with that. So let's go through a few hands. Uh, you know, pocket aces. What do you do with pocket aces? Well, you know, my philosophy is don't go all in with pocket aces unless somebody goes all in before you. So it's okay to call it, uh, but don't be the first one to go all in. Not with uh, not with pocket aces, you know, pocket kings. You know, just pocket aces, pocket kings. You know, raise, raise with it, unless someone else raises before it gets to you. If they raise before it gets to you, then just call them, and don't ever re-raise before the flop. Never. Because what you want to do is you want to hide your hand. If you're sitting there pocket kings, pocket aces, they have pocket jacks, they raise it. You just call, don't let them know what you have. And uh, so it's a good way to hide hide your hand. You know, pocket queens, you can raise with it. Try, try to stay away from all in. If they go all in and then you want to go all in with them, that's one thing. But don't be the first one to do it yourself. Pocket jacks, you know, in the books they say play pocket jacks like they're pocket eights. So be a little careful with pocket jacks. And play them like they're pocket eights. A little weaker than you think. Pocket tens, rays. You know, try not to go all in with that either. Pocket nines. Any pocket pair, I raise. Pocket twos, raise. Um, if I'm going to play conservative, which for this video... I'll have you playing conservative, you know, take some notes on this stuff and just try my techniques, see how they work for you, integrate your own techniques along with them. So pocket twos, I'll raise, uh, my raise, I go a little bit over a hundred dollar raise. Start at a hundred and ten and if you can, try to change your raises every time. Try not to raise the same amount all the time. So I'll start with 110, and then a good way to do this is to gradually go up on your raises. The next time you raise, go to 120, 130, 140. You know, as close to that as possible, keep increasing your raise every time. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, you know, 910 cards, uh, you know, I don't raise with them. If somebody raises a little bit, I'll call. Big slick, ace king. I'll raise with that. Um, won't go all in unless they go all in first. Ace queen, raise. Ace jack, I'll raise. You know, ace tens the cutoff. Uh, king queen, I'll raise. King jack, I'll raise. And uh, you know. Uh, 
as far as you know, waiting a certain amount of time to bet, nah, I don't, I don't wait any certain amount. I try to act as fast as possible at all times. Um, I don't believe that you give away a tell just because you act within one second compared to if you wait five seconds every time online. Um, and also, just so you know, too, there's a new game coming along. It's called Panorama Poker. At the end of the hand, everybody uh, <clears throat> everybody gets to see your cards. So whoever folds to stop the action in the hand, they're going to flip their cards face up. So everybody's going to be able to see it. And then uh, the rest of the players, whoever's remaining in the hand, let's say there's two or three more players left, then there is no mucking, and they'll be flipping their cards up. So, if you have a double gut shot, you know, double belly buster gut shot straight draw and you missed it, and a guy bets 10,000 and you feel like, you know, betting 10,000 just to see what he had, just keep your chips and in the Panorama Hold'em game, you will be able to see what those cards were that he had. And uh, so, those are your tips for right now and stay tuned and get you some more tips going.